we spotted this bunny near a lake. We thought it was just one of the wild bunnies, but she came up and asked me to pet her. We went online searching what the differences were between a wild and a domestic bunny, and we figured she was a domestic bunny, so we brought her home. Oh, she likes that. I could tell she was really hungry. We took her to the vet, and she wasn't microchip. Once she knew she was in a safe environment, she warmed up to us a lot. A little bit later on, she started ripping out fabric, nesting a lot, gaining a lot of weight. And I thought, maybe I'm feeding her too much and she needs to go on a diet. And then the next thing I knew, I just saw three little feet popping up from underneath her belly. I was really shocked that she actually gave birth. I felt so proud and I was just really happy just looking at them. By the end of the week, they were fully covered in fur. By the time they started opening their eyes, they started crawling a little. As they grew older, their personalities started showing. Greg was the biggest one of them all. We call him the mama's boy because he's always looking for attention and love from Bun Bun. Maple is very, very shy and introverted. We have a little corner in our bedroom where she can just get away from her siblings. Ozzy was the smallest. She's obsessed with playing catch. Bunny proofing the entire house was a struggle. They get into a lot of trouble every day. But I love living with them, taking care of them. Bun Bun came into my life and then she had babies and Having these bunnies in my life has made me want to foster more rescue bunnies in the future and even start a rescue.